Braden Darsky. I'm so excited. I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. I'm like a little bit giddy right here in the lungs. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do a puzzle. And so I was just going through the puzzles, and it didn't really matter which one I was going to do until I was like, Thomas Kincaid, cha. Ha, ha, ha. There's so much of it already put together. I did not do that. Wow, I got really far. Part of me almost wants to start from scratch. But in all sincerity, I'm only here for three days and I might need that start. Oh, this is gonna be a couple, but I'm gonna do my best. Is the puzzle talking to you, Trent? <laughs> Why not? We need help! Coffee's still kicking in. Wait, why are you seeing me right now instead of more of the puzzle? Didn't we finish at a camp? No. No, we didn't. No, we sadly, it was like a 1500 piece puzzle and we couldn't finish it in three days. And at the end of camp, a bunch of us were like, hey, let's just stay an extra couple hours and finish it because we we're three quarters of the way done. We just wanted to get it done so badly, but we couldn't. Like, we had to leave when we had to leave, and we had to break down camp just like we found it. Thankfully, I was there when we were breaking down the puzzle, so I wanted to do like I found it. I wanted to break it up in square, little square chunks that would actually fit in the box. And then I put the puzzle back where I found it, and it was it was just so heartbreaking for so many of us that we weren't able to finish this puzzle it was it was like a it was like a summer romance you know you foolishly fall in love with this person and you, in in the beginning you're like oh we're never gonna finish it anyway blah 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 it would just be fun and then halfway through you fall in love and then and then you start believing but it could be forever and then it ends and you're like what was i thinking ah oh, i could have saved myself all this pain that's kind of how we were feeling over this puzzle and so anyway, everybody went home, and when I got home, I had many a Catholic camp story to tell my mom, but one of the stories I told her was this puzzle story, and she is so smart, she had this great idea, she's like, why don't you just go on Amazon, 
buy the same puzzle and then call up the caretaker of the facilities and swap puzzles. And I'm like, that is such a good idea. So I did, I called, well, first I went to Amazon and I got the same puzzle and then I called up the caretaker and I'm like, hey, so crazy thing, we didn't get to finish one of our puzzles. I got the same puzzle brand new. Can I please mail you this puzzle and you mail me that one? And the caretaker, she's like, what? So she she opened up the box and she could see that I had in chunks that could actually fit in this box, still assembled square chunks. And she's just like, oh my goodness. And she's just so moved. She's like, you know what? I'm just gonna drop this in the mail. You keep the puzzle you've got and you'll have this one as well. And it was just so cool. And then uh, out of all of us, Larissa, I mean, we all love the puzzle, but Larissa loved it just a little bit more than everybody else. So the next time I saw Larissa at one of our Catholic gatherings, I gave her the box and she finished it. <laughs>